Yeah. And the answer is what? I'm so bored all of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so bored. I sit there and I watch Ted Lasso eight times. Good enough. Be fair enough. Ted Lasso's I had never watched it until recently. And now I'm like, oh my god, I don't know how to do it. I also just didn't see it yesterday. Everything's a parent team. I haven't seen it yet either. People tell me that they're like, oh, Ben, you'd love Ted Lasso. You would love Ted Lasso. But if, I'm like, okay, so am I really going to spend, like, how much is Apple TV Plus or whatever? Okay, first of all, three for three. You know, you that's true. Really like I watched it through reputable websites. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can literally. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Sure. <laughs> I'll rock with that. Oh, yeah, this guy. All right, uh, it is time to get started. So let us get started, Ben, whenever you are ready. Um, first off, I'd love to say thank everyone for being here. Um, it really means a lot to see all those happy, smiling faces. Uh, so um, welcome to my portfolio critique. Uh, who am I? So um, I'm Ben. Uh, I'm a creative tech major with minors in art and entrepreneurship. Um, and ever since I was like a little kid, I always knew that I wanted to like go into an industry where I could like make stuff. Um, and for a long time, I thought that was, uh, mechanical engineering, um, like engineering of some kind. Uh, and then I realized once I got to college, I was like, Ooh, I super don't like math that much. So, um, the way that I actually found out about creative tech was, uh, I was touring Barry with my cousin and, um, uh, just because she was looking for colleges, and I was like, sure, I'll tag along. Um, but uh, our tour guide mentioned Hackberry, and I was like, oh, what goes on over there? And um, our tour guide said, oh, they just make really cool stuff over there. And we didn't end up touring it that day, but I reached out to Zane, um, and I was like, hey, I'd love to come in and take a tour of the lab. And so he was so graciously gave me a tour. Um, and so, uh, yeah, like I loved making stuff ever since I was little. Um, and so I was able to, to kind of like go into that and I'm, I'm really appreciating, appreciative of the program and everything I've done in it so far. Um, and so, uh, that kind of leads me into the theme of my portfolio, um, which is, uh oh. Uh, creating aesthetic and practical everyday items that seamlessly integrate into a diverse household setting. So um, in my presentation, y'all are going to see a couple projects I've made for um, Chris's robotics course, a couple hackathon projects, and uh, my capstone. And so um, let's start it off with the project one, a Samuel stand. So originally, this started out as a hackathon project, as most things do. Um, and uh, a couple nights before the final project uh, for Chris's robotics course, I emailed him and I was like, hey, I would really actually love to do this instead. Um, and so I was able to uh, use the CNC router and Fusion to uh, cut this out. And so um, I got really into records and I made this for a hackathon to display the records um, when I'm playing them and store them in a helpful and healthy way, I guess. Uh, and so uh, this is the original Fusion model for it. Um, this is it with a, uh, a placeholder record in it. Um, but yeah, so um, this really means a lot to me just because this is really one of the first projects I was like really, really confident about um, and really passionate about too, just because like I said, I love records um, and I love looking at the cover art on them. And so, um, kind of leading into it. Oh yeah, this is it with records on it. Um, you can see how you have like a now playing uh, place for it. So yeah, and I also kind of wanted to like emulate uh, flipping through records uh, at the record store. And so I kind of made it angled so you can kind of do that. Um, yeah, and so uh, going off of the records thing, um, I, for another hackathon, uh, I got really into bending acrylic. And so, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, it kind of, uh, I grabbed inspiration from Chris and uh, he told me about one of his projects that he did where he used a heat gun and bent PVC pipe and stuff. And so I was like, you know, I could do that with acrylic. 
Um, and so, uh, surprise, surprise, I made another record stand. Um, and I really wanted it to have this kind of organic feel to it. Um, and again, something that I would use every day. Uh, and so I just wanted it to look nice, feel nice. Um, you can kind of see here with the corners of bent, um, I wanted it to have some kind of like light refraction in it. And so um, bending corners is a really easy way to achieve that effect in acrylic. And so um, you can see a couple of my records there. Uh, yeah. And so um, I really fell in love with bending acrylic and just that like medium of creativity. And so for another hackathon project, uh, I made a, a pour over coffee stand. And so um, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And um, it kind of, you can kind of see where my uh, um, design from the uh, last acrylic project to this one it kind of seamlessly integrates into uh, like a kitchen or it doesn't take a, a whole lot of space. Um, yeah, and so you can see the bent corners again. Um, I really wanted to make it like look nice and functional. And so um, I was really passionate about this and uh, I'm really thankful for being able to do this, just first of all. Um, yeah, and so going through the coffee thing, uh, we arrive at the Caffeine Chronicles, which is my capstone study. And so so uh, for this study, um, in my capstone project, uh, I wanted to create a way for students to log their caffeine intake. Um, because I know that I drink an ungodly amount of coffee um, when I'm like stressed or like working on something or just every day. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to make a study um, that lets users log their caffeine um, and be able to view it too. Uh, and so I wanted to create uh, a way for students to do that. And so uh, I developed uh, somewhat of an app. It's technically a website, but uh, I was able to uh, get users to um, like bookmark it on their phone so it looks like an app. And I really wanted it to be easy to use, um, not take super long to like just quickly shoot in a uh, log. And uh, there are three different sections I chose. Um, which was coffee, energy drink, and soda, just because I know those are the three most um, popular ways of caffeine intake. Um, and so, as you can see here, um, I used uh, PHP and um, I was able to create this so students can log their caffeine. Um, and so, going along with that, um, I was able to get uh, like 16 to 17 students from around Barry's campus uh, and different schools of Barry majors, genders, all that stuff. Um, and I just wanted like kind of a wide variety of people so I could get uh, just some really good data. And so um, I also created a website to go along with this. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I wanted to allow like my participants to really see their data and just see how overall uh, like caffeine and uh, like their intake. Because um, like personally, I think that like visualizing like my caffeine and I can see like, oh, shoot, I'm drinking like four cups of coffee a day, which is not healthy. Um, so uh, like I really wanted students to be able to see that and understand how much coffee they're drinking or and caffeine, excuse me. And so um, from the results of the study, um, it turns out uh, a lot of people make their own coffee in their rooms. Um, and so I had one participant who uh, ended up drinking a liter of coffee in the morning, which seems like a lot. Yeah. Um, and so uh, usually, um, a regular cup of coffee, average cup of coffee, uh, has 95 milligrams of caffeine in it. This man was drinking about 400 just to start his day off. Uh, and so really uh, pushing up that uh, the line of what's considered safe, I guess. Uh, I've done a lot of research on like caffeine and like the safe levels on it. 
Um, and so it's normally recommended, like, probably don't exceed 400 milligrams of coffee per day. This man was just meeting it consistently. Um, but as you can also see, um, so the self-made was the largest uh, category, but something I didn't realize was sweet tea. We live in Georgia, it makes sense. Uh, people are drinking sweet tea like nobody's business. And uh, another one of my participants um, didn't drink a whole lot of coffee, but they ended up drinking like sweet tea instead to get that caffeine. And so, um, yeah. And so something that I thought was very interesting here was um, Celsius, which is in the pink there, um, was like, I thought that was gonna be the most popular because I see people drinking Celsius all around. But about halfway through my study, um, Barry switched from like Celsius to rain uh, because Celsius is a Pepsi product and we are a Coca-Cola campus. And so I think if they didn't do that, um, Celsius probably would have beaten out rain. But um, yeah, no, rain was definitely one of the, uh, it, it ended up beating it out. So yeah, and so um, going on to the soda section, uh, as you can see, Coca-Cola won. Um, but uh, Dr. Pepper and also Coke Zero were definitely some uh, competitors in there. But um, in the end, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I'm glad to really kind of visualize uh, people's caffeine intakes and just their drinking habits in general. Um, and so what's next for me? Um, I am planning on moving to Atlanta and uh, I want to go into product design and or industrial design. And I've talked to a couple firms already in Atlanta, um, but I've also been uh, very lucky for Zane reaching out to me uh, with an internship at Mohawk um, with their Aspire program. And uh, basically what that is, it's they get you in different like circles basically. And um, you're doing a lot of uh, like commercial work, product design, all sorts of other stuff too. Um, and so I'm really happy to be able to possibly maybe do that um, just because I think that being able to like get in and like around that field is super neat. And so uh, still waiting to hear back from a couple people about that, uh, but yeah, thank y'all. <laughs>